This is part six in a series of tutorials for English 2321. My name is Kristen Cook and I am the online librarian here at MCC and this is the first of two tutorials about looking for ebooks for your literary research and this, this one part six is going to cover just Cambridge Collections Online which has a series of companions to major authors and literature periods. To get to Cambridge Collections Online, start from the library homepage, click on Articles, Research, and More, and you'll want to find our listing of all of our electronic book databases. By going to Choose a Database by Publication Type, click on the drop-down box and then on Electronic Books. And in the middle of this list is the link to Cambridge Collections Online from Cambridge University Press. From the home page you can either do a quick search or you can browse. If you browse, click on the Cambridge Companions to Literature and Classics link and this will list all of the titles, there's over a hundred, that will cover major authors or literature periods. And they'll be listed alphabetically, so you could look for your author or the companion that you believe your author would be covered within. For instance, I'm going to do an example search on Beowulf, so I could figure out if there's a Cambridge Companion to Beowulf or look for one that might be a companion to old English literature in this alphabetical list. Back at the home screen you can just do a full text search by typing in your author name just the last name or you could do the full name. If you do the full name do it first name space last name but enclose it in quotation marks like, uh, for instance, Geoffrey Chaucer. And then type in and, and then put in the title of the work that you're researching. And any titles that are two words or more, you need to put quotation marks around. So if I were doing Canterbury Tales, then you would put that in quotation marks. My example search is just going to be on Beowulf, so I'm going to show that one now. After you type it in, click in search. And sometimes this database runs a little slow when you're accessing from off campus. So I got 32 chapter results that mention Beowulf somewhere in the full text. The most relevant ones are going to be on the top because the term Beowulf is, appears more in the text and this seems to be a very good match because it's from the Cambridge Companion to Old English Literature. So this one is likely to be the best result for me. Perhaps I could even try Heroic Values and Christian Ethics, also from the same book. So the results are chapter titles. When you're ready to look at it, click on the chapter title that is a link. And then you'll get to a page that has a brief citation for the book chapter. It has a what they refer to as an abstract or excerpt, which is one paragraph from the beginning of that chapter, and the search terms that you entered are highlighted so that you can see where they appear. And then below that there's a section called chapter content, and then you link to the actual full text of that chapter. So you don't have to browse through the entire book, but just that single chapter from the book and they're in PDF format so when the chapter opens you'll have the toolbar that goes with a PDF file that allows you to print or save 
If you want to email it to yourself, you would just save the PDF to the computer you're working on and then create an email and attach that article PDF to your email. So as I said here, here's the printer and save icons. And your brief citation is either on this page or on the previous search results page, but don't use this as your MLA citation. You'll need to actually use your MLA handbook guidelines for creating the accurate citation. You could also do an advanced search. The simple search that we did does bring you the best results to the top of the list, but in the advanced search you can put in topics for your second research paper, you may be doing something more than just looking for criticisms on a particular work. So under subjects or under the full text, you could put that theme or symbolism, that different topic that you're trying to find out about from a particular work. So on this advanced search screen, the best fields to use are full text. You could use title to find the book that has the author name or title of the work in the title of the book, in the Cambridge book. And then the subjects line would work for any topical terms that you want to use, like romanticism or hero or symbolism or satire. And then text of extract or abstract would target you to that paragraph at the beginning of each chapter so you could type in the title of your work or author or theme topic in that field as well. So let's do an example. I want to look for Shakespeare. So I want to look for a companion with Shakespeare in the title and dealing with love and the sonnets. So I'll type in that and then click Start Advanced Search down at the bottom of the screen. And then this will bring up a small set of results. And here I have results from the Cambridge Companion to Shakespeare Poetry primarily. And there is a chapter with the name Sonnets in the title, and another one called Shakespeare's Poems in the Cambridge Companion to Shakespeare. So there's an example of using the advanced search when you are searching for specific topics regarding your work. This is the end of the tutorial on Cambridge Collections Online a series of electronic books that you can access online for literary topics. Please visit the next tutorial, Part 7, to see our other two electronic book databases demonstrated.